I've not felt the crunch of dry snow beneath my feet or felt the biting cold. This year feels different. The season should feel calm, but it isn't. I remember the melancholy look in the eyes of older folks. With each year, I understand this more. Colder temperatures, huddled for warmth, we can't help but become contemplative. It's natural to think about the people we've lost, a reflective time of year. I hope to soothe and distract you for just a few moments. Think the sad and joyful thoughts abound this time of year. There is a joy in this remembrance. Yes, it's held in a well-crafted cage of sorrow, but I think it represents the season well. This will be easy. A quick and simple build, I thought. I wanted to make a top like this, not because it was easy, but because so many manufacturers make instruments this way. From that perspective, it's simple and efficient. In my reality, things are quite different. Laminated tops are quick and easy to make once the forms and setup work with the stock are complete. I resawed and thickness sanded each piece of this veneer. If I wanted to control the thickness of the top with any accuracy, it was necessary. I figured you would forgive me for not showing this tedious process. If not, I'll get it on the next one. Let me have it in the comments if you must. There are a few things I found interesting about this process. It seems to be an efficient use of lumber, and I guess it can be, but on further reflection, I find the process to be far more wasteful than a carved top instrument. Most of the stock becomes dust and chips in making the custom veneers. The contour is quite subtle. It's difficult to see the archings in the video, or even in person. When you run your hand across the top, you can feel them. I think they will become more accentuated once I install the bracing. The question remains, will I put myself through this again? Probably, I'm a sucker for new techniques. I'm always thinking about the way they produce objects. This thought has been with me for as long as I can remember. I enjoy learning alternative methods and sharing what I've picked up. The ability to 3D model and create the parts I imagine is a joy. I believe that many of you think the same way. So you might ask yourself, why go through this extravagant process to make a top? Why not just CNC carve the thing? I created a mold, set up a vacuum system for a single top. Many hollow body instruments take advantage of this technique. I find the process very interesting. I'm invariably on the lookout for ways to adapt manufacturing processes back into one-off production. We live in extraordinary times. We rarely take the time to think about it. The broad access to information that we enjoy today is relatively new. Just think about how you would find the information presented in this video in the late 80s. Remember how difficult it was to cross-reference using the card catalog? There was no repository of data to begin this learning process. The information that we had spent hours looking for in libraries, usually with very few results, we sit back and watch as entertainment today. This significant change in day-to-day -day life has come about during our short lifetimes. This kind of experimental work usually takes a more significant investment in time, but the payoff is nearly always worth it. When you attempt a new process, the failure rate is high. The more you learn from these processes and failures, the more the success rate climbs. I've taken on enough of these kinds of projects to know I can make them work. It doesn't have to be something that you've done a hundred times and mastered. It rarely is. 
I don't feel like I've mastered any process yet. The work I take on is incredibly diverse. So my progress in mastering techniques is slow, but broad. This course interests me. I dread the conclusion of it. Mastery seems intolerably dull. A nice target to aim for, but not a goal that one intends to achieve. I don't believe I have enough time to master any significant amount of this information. I revel in the process at hand. So for now, I'm quite happy to learn and share. Thanks for watching.